cool. I mean, this island hopping tour is by far one of the best ones I've done in the Philippines. Look at this. These ladies have a sorry sorry for you. And welcome back to another travel vlog. Together with me here, I have Ava loving it. What's up? Who surprised me this morning when she took me out? Uh, she just told me to jump in the car, and it was three hours drive before we finally rested here in Carlos, which is a cute little town north of Ilo Ilo City. All right, so what's the plan here, babe? Like we just arrived and. Um, uh, yeah, so right now we are here in Solina Beach and Nature Resort. It's about, yeah, like three hours away from Iloilo City, an hour and a half drive from Roa City. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna stay here for two nights. Awesome. Yes, this place is uh, so underrated, I would say, because not a lot of tourists, mostly locals, mostly Filipinos, go here, as you can tell from the other guests. Yes. All right, I'm excited. So mm -hmm. right now we're gonna go and have a small lunch slash dinner and then later we will see what we can do. Molo. Hansit Molo. Oh, it's lunch time. Guys, this is their signature hamburger. I do like hamburgers, so when I get to eat it, I'm a happy boy. Dre, you're in for a treat, man. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. This soup is also amazing. Guys, today I'm gonna try Pinoy pizza for my first time. It has sardines on it, eggplant and salted egg. Now, I like my pizza with meat, but hey, I'm gonna give it a try with fish. Let's go. Ooh, it smells. My dad would love this. My dad is a sardine lover. Pizza with sardines. Let's go. It's not that bad actually. That was a great lunch <laughs> for dinner. It's 4 p.m. This is the pool. Hopefully we're gonna get some time to swim there later. Yeah. Now we're just gonna explore the hotel, see if there's anything cool stuff to do, shoot some photos. And before that sun goes down, I'm gonna shoot the drone up. So that's what's up. hammered though on the beachfront in the sunset <laughs> this is my filipina girlfriend you guys she's always after to get me <laughs> she's always gonna just like ruin my day somehow <laughs> come on don't <laughs> like she's trying to make my head hit something no Oy. nothing in this world like a filipino girl it's nice yeah. so guys we're now we're just sitting here in a hammock <laughs> And this oh. is our view, look. Sweet. The night has set here at Selena. <laughs> and we're heading to breakfast. So it's breakfast. Whoa. We're what heading to dinner. Why am I so weird today? <laughs> it's okay. I was like, good morning, but it's <laughs> afternoon, I'm breakfast, but it's dinner. Yeah, so, okay, the night is set and we're going to dinner. It's pretty cool that there's a lot of different types of condos and villas. And there's even glamping here, but we all have this one common uh, restaurant. What's unique about this place is that it's so far away from any cities, so there's no light pollution. And I wish I could show you guys. Oh, I can maybe see it actually a little bit on the camera there. There's so many stars out. You can see the entire milky galaxy and there's barely service here so if you just want to disconnect from the rest of the world this is the place to do it someone in the car okay oh no i think this is a good place to visit if you're mm -hmm. trying to extend your ilo ilo vacation you want to see a little bit more than just the city yeah it's only three hours away it's like being stuck in manila traffic <laughs> yeah it's only three hours full time 
This is where we are at earlier. So pretty. Kind of wanna swim again. Yeah, <laughs> it's very tempting. This is a restaurant I thought about. Hey guys, even though you're new to my channel or if you have been following me for a while, you should know that I love adobo. I've tried adobo chicken, adobo. Bad boy. The CC. What's the squid. squid? So I tried adobo chicken, squid adobo, and now we just got served scallops adobo. <laughs> yeah. This region is very famous for its large variety of seafood and also scallops. And tomorrow we'll go to a place where good evening. Oh, look at that. Not a platter. Amazing. Yeah. I was just telling them about the seafood here in this region. Oh my god, Ava. And also the pale pilsen. If you're ever in the Philippines, you gotta have this. <laughs> Are you excited? I've never tried these before, so this is gonna be this is gonna be your foreigner's reaction to scallops adobo. Let's go. Foreign this is it. Scallops are amazing and normally I don't eat too much. <laughs> Scallops. But the sauce. Adobo. Oh <laughs> and here it has mud wine. There are viewers. Hello. What are your names? Sorry. Philip. From France. Yeah. Oh, hello. Just a coincidence. We were watching on YouTube some vlogs. Okay, so that's it. We finished dinner. I finally received my package that Ava's sister has shipped to us. It's such a hassle when you have companies or someone in your family who's trying to send you stuff. You have no permanent address, so you're just moving around like us. It's sometimes really hard to time so that the package arrives. We took a chance on this hotel and it worked out. She's Got loving it. it. Thank you so much. For taking your time to ship it to us it was pretty awesome at the dinner we met uh, an older couple who is living in Iloilo the guy from France the girl from the Philippines we had good conversations with them and I always like to talk to people who have lived longer than me so that you can get their view on life and their tips and tricks to places just stories of how they've seen the world uh, talked a lot to the guy and he had been traveling all over the globe he was in Cuba 20 years ago, for example. So just getting that knowledge is such, such interesting to me. So and the way <laughs> the way they found us is that they watched one of my videos from Dimang Yang. And he's like, what? Isn't that the guy from YouTube? And I love when that happens. So if you are watching this video and you ever see me and Ave walking past you, please stop us, say hi. We love that. And good morning from Bangkal port. This port is located right next to Kals and only a five minute drive from the hotel. This is the closest port to the island that we're going to today. The island named Gigantes. Really excited for that. So right now we're just signing in as you have to do all the time here in the Philippines when you're traveling to a new island. And I'm super, super excited for the one peso clamps which they have here. A bit early this morning so we're just gonna crash at this restaurant before we head out there. You just learn to rest. In the beginning, it's like, ah, I can't sleep on a plane. I can't sleep in a car. But now, look at me, I'm sleeping on a table inside a restaurant. Like, sleep is something you just have to take whenever it comes to you, all right? An hour here and there is really what you need. And I'm loving it, though. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to everyone that's been hitting that subscribe button lately. You guys are awesome. Super cool to see that the Seoul Haugen community is growing. <laughs> we were at currently at 55,000 subscribers. Never thought that was possible and then just, yeah. Let's see if we can get her up to 70 or maybe 100 by the end of the year. And now we have boarded our boat. That's what it looks like. And we have our Japanese friends in the back here. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, yeah. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay guys, we're on our way to Gigantes. We're gonna stop on five islands, and this is the first one, Ulupondan. And the reason it's called that is because there's one tree on this island, just one palm tree. It used to be two, but there was a big typhoon and it knocked it over. It's a super cool, small little island paradise, white sandy beaches. Definitely a cool place to check out. So look at this. I lost my underwear, maybe the typhoon blew it here. Okay, we're gonna run back on our boat and head to the next island. Look at how blue the water is. Can't wait to swim in that blue water. Wow. So cool, I mean this island hopping tour is by far one of the best ones I've done in the Philippines. And there she is, the love of my life. I've, I've been loving it. How are you feeling today? So, uh, we're here in Bantigi Island. Sandbar, Bantigi Sandbar. It's the second island. So after spending about 30 minutes on this island, just enjoying this crystal clear blue water, shooting some drone shots, we are heading off to the next island. So we're jumping on the boat. <laughs> Again, we're jumping on the boat. In the Philippines, it's always, no matter where you go, boats like this. Okay, so we are here at Antonia Island now for a third overstop and we've just been spending 3 minutes doing nothing, just enjoying it. It's really one of the most beautiful islands I've seen here in the Philippines. The, the sand here is so white, uh, it's unparalleled to anything I've seen so far. And here they have jet skis, banana boats, so this is definitely a cool place you could bring your entire family for some fun or if you just want to relax and look at the ocean, like this girl is doing. Or like Ava is doing over there. Think the place is nice? Yeah. Yeah. So we, cool. It so is. relaxing. It really is. No pollution. No pollution. Yeah, actually, there's not a lot of plastic pollution here. That's good. It's really good. I think I'm going to jump in the ocean and try to see if I can find anything cool. We're leaving the island. If you're coming to this island trip, make sure to bring small bills because that's where I screwed up. I brought a 500 bill and they couldn't change it. So I had the entire boat wait for me while she swam to the next island to get some change. But Look at this place. Oh, I think I've been here. You think you've been here before? My first time. Walking to shore from the boat. And this view. My god. And on this island, we're gonna have lunch. I don't know what we're gonna eat, but it's definitely seafood. That's 100% for sure. I can have my one peso scallops here. No, oh, this one is unlimited. It's unlimited scallops? Yeah. Is that even a thing? So it so. gets better, guys. It's unlimited scallops. <laughs> now this vlog, you thought it was gonna be only about 
one peso island per scallop hopping. and island hopping, but no, we have free scallops. As much as you can eat. Guys, this is where everybody's eating. Big table with a lot of seafood. That's so cool. Like a fiesta, like a budel fight with scallops. We're gonna eat here. With this view. So while I was flying the drone, look at all the food that came to the table. Wow, wow. Thumbnail! I think I just had the best seafood experience of my life. You're not done, yeah, no, she's still eating. <laughs> That's crazy. I ate a lot of crabs, clams. Uh, they had something here that reminds me of a blue shell back in Norway. But it's a lot different shape. They call it the axe shell here. Axe shell? Wasai wasai. Wasai wasai in local dialect because it looks like an axe. You guys can see that. That was super good. Tasted exactly like it did in Norway. <laughs> and we had the chicken here. Beautiful experience. I mean, this experience alone should be enough for uh, food lovers to go on this island. Oh my god. Now we have arrived on another island. This thing is beautiful. I can't pronounce it. So I'm just gonna put the name down below. Uh, this place is the place that I really wanted to go to uh, of all the islands here in the Gigantes island chain. And on this island, they have really, really put in the effort to make it something special. Look at this. Super nice. I mean, to me, this place it deserves to be in the Philippines, but still, it's so beautiful, like it's so unique. I haven't seen anything like this anywhere else in the Philippines that has this white sand and just this crystal clear blue water. So, now we're gonna drone this place and we're gonna head up, up this ladder to the top of this mountain, which is the iconic view that everybody really wanna shot from. I can't believe we're leaving this place. Uh. Did you have fun? Yeah, but it was really short. Yeah, it was yeah. too short. I could spend a lot more time on this place. And for our last island, we have stranded or landed on what the locals refer to as Little Boracay. Now, if you are not familiar with the geography, now if you're not familiar with Boracay, it's a very beautiful island here in the Philippines. Hence, Little Boracay, this place is just as beautiful. Again, white sand. I'm getting burned so much that I had to put on this scarf to be, uh, try to save my skin a little bit. But look at this, on this remote beach, far from anything, is a Sari Sari store. Yeah. Hi. Look at this. These ladies have a Sari Sari store here. This is cool. And they are selling stuff. Oh. Oh wow. Look at this. Do you have cold San Miguel light? You actually have cold beer. Um, how much is one? 20 pesos? 70 pesos. Ave, do you want a cold San Miguel? Yeah? Do you want a beer, man? Yeah. Okay. We'll do 3 
San Miguel. Beer Cada. Look at this. Cold beer. I did not expect that. <laughs> Cheers, my love. School it. And now we're gonna go for a swim in the little Baraka. Swimming time. Nice. And so after a long day exploring different islands here in the Gigantes Island region, we are heading home. I'm so burned, like seriously, if you're doing this uh, tour, make sure to bring some, some, uh, some scarf that you can have on your head and a shit ton of sunscreen, because you're gonna need it, yeah. But it's a super cool, super cool adventure. I really hope that this vlog inspired you guys to go out and get it. And yeah, now I'm gonna go back to the hotel. the boats and we're getting picked up in a van. That's what's nice when you're on a hotel like that, when they have everything sorted out. So I follow Ava a lot. <laughs> but, I, but, I, but, 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 but 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 just wait for it. This is your home country. <laughs> if, if we go somewhere else, which we will very soon, I'm gonna join the planning. I'm real, I should leave you somewhere. But I was just like doing a travel guide for them. Like this is nice that the van is arranged. Yes, I should leave for on that island. No, no. <laughs> Don't. And before we can go back to the hotel, we need to stop by the local 7 Eleven. Oi, you're not going there. Oh. Wow. And on the 7 Eleven, you can pick up wine here. Wine. Oh, there you go. What's that? I haven't oh, seen oh. this. I haven't oh, seen it there. Sunshine. <laughs> Childhood memories. Memories bring back. Memories bring back you. Here's the drink coming up. Coming up. Oh, I love it. And guys, I haven't been drinking energy drinks for over one month. Woo! That's a celebration! <laughs> shake, shake, shake! Banana! Shake, banana! <laughs> so the crew has made it back to the hotel and we are rushing to the beach before the sun goes completely down to shoot some sunset photos. So what's nice about this resort that it's seriously located on the beach. The resort is there. I'm on the beach here. It's pretty, pretty nice. I didn't know it's buffet night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean either. Crazy so selection. I don't know. Oh, this looks really good though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Steamed scallops. More scallops? Yeah. <laughs> it's like all we eat today are scallops. Oh, since yesterday are scallops. We're back at the dinner slash breakfast hall. Uh, it's pretty big. It is. You can room a lot of guests. Steamed rice, tuna. Lemon chicken. They have uh, marshmallows. Oh no, what's this? Drink selection. My god, amazing. I don't know where to begin. I think <laughs> with rice. With rice, yeah. Always begin with rice. Yummy. Eat. <laughs> I was like, I need a vlogger, and then she's like stopping writing. Good morning, yet another beautiful day here in Carl's Philippines. Carlos Philippines. So right now, today, before we leave, we wanted to shoot this area of the hotel, which has glamping to it. It's very rare that I see that here in the Philippines, so quite cool, and we thought it could be a nice photo. I mean, <clears throat> she thought it would be a nice photo, and she asked me to take the photo. Um, we're a good team like that. <laughs> Thank you! Please copy it! I just <laughs> love it! I didn't just copy that, but that's obviously what we're doing, alright? All right. Obviously also making a vlog from here, so if you want to check it out, head over to our channel. And this is what the glamping area looks like. For me, it's like a hut dressed in a tent. It's really, really glamping. It's really nice. So I would have no issue whatsoever staying here. All of the tents have their own bathroom like you just saw. 
And it's good for a family or a group of four friends to just hang out and it's still on the beautiful resort. Again, if you guys want to check this hotel out, I've linked the hotel in the description below. So you can just click it and book your stay or at least check it out. There's a closer look at the glamping area. Hello! So from the glamping area, past the villas, down to the restaurant. It's not a long walk, seriously 50 meters. And this is where we've been eating all the food and we've been spending time at night by the pool because we're always out shooting in the middle of the day. But today, it's nice, we get to relax. <laughs> and we get to show you what it looks like in sunlight. And I'm surprised how many people actually stay at this hotel. And that's the pool area. It's a large pool. And at night, as you guys have seen, they light these up and it's super, super nice. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that view. This is so relaxing. So now we've been spending three days here in Carlos and today we're going to Capriz, which is another city further down the coast. I'm gonna spend a total of, I think, six days there. So if you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified whenever I release a new travel vlog with tips and inspiration for your next Philippines Islands exploration trip. <laughs> so you can get notified with tips and tricks for your next holiday destination here in the Philippines. Babe, you wanna, you wanna end the vlog with me? We're ending the vlog right here on the hotel bed. Okay. Oi. What's <laughs> up? Oi, oi, oi. Well, thank you guys for watching this travel vlog from Gigantes. I really hope it gave you some good inspiration and tips to what you can expect if you ever go here. It's a place I really recommend to go, so do not hesitate. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, guys. See you. See ya. Subscribe to Avalon. No, 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 no. Subscribe to me. <laughs> <laughs>